getting hot chicken today, man. We're getting ghost kitchen hot chicken, which is very mm -hmm. interesting. The pickles they use are trash. I would get it again at 3 a.m. All right, so I'm very suspect on this place. I don't know about you guys. Same, but same. We've been damn near fighting for our American right to order a drink. <laughs> Tingling in my butt. What is going on, everyone? And welcome back to another episode of The Munch. It's been a couple weeks now. We got a new It's been a while, bro. I'm excited, on man. On the other side of here. Woo. We're getting hot chicken today, man. We're getting ghost kitchen hot chicken, which is very mm -hmm. interesting. Uh, but They've we'll see. They've won awards, though. So, yeah, apparently. We'll I mean, see. Uh, Main Chicken started as a night spot. Are they going to perfect that original right. Right, How are they right. going to perform? So yeah, you exactly. Find out. Like, why, is this yeah. going to live up to the name or is this just going to, you know, Be we'll find out. Sandwich. We're going to have to see. Prince Street one, pizza huh? here too. Yeah, it's like, like combo one. Like I have to yeah. get it while I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> right. well, Prince Street actually, Prince Street has new hours. They're not open. Ah. They're only open Ooh. Thursday through the weekend from four to... Does the main chick have their own chicken? Yeah. Or main their own has kitchen? Their own. All oh, of the nice. restaurants you see here, mm -hmm. we have over 30. They all have their own small kitchen in the back. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, it's interesting. Dope. That's a medium. You're spice kind of guy? Dude, it's hot outside. I'm not a super, I'm yeah, mild. I was about to say, I'm going mild, bro. <laughs> I'm already sweating from the sun. It reset on us. It reset the order on oh, us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and Tim? Uh, what did I have? This guy. Oh, I forgot, I forgot to add cheese on mine. But I'm not gonna risk it crashing again. I'll, I'll no, go no, without no, cheese. I'll go don't, without don't. cheese. No crush. Hold the Mac. Two yeah. Max. Don't two Max. No right. I'm not gonna touch nothing too crazy. Yup. Two Max. Holy yeah. shit. It's Adam. getting crazy on us. What's your experience so far on the ghost kitchen? Oh, oh, oh. Not a shit. Um, not gonna lie, the order system sucks. I'm gonna try to talk too loud, talk too crazy, sit on spit in our food. You know? Um, but we've been damn near fighting for our American right to order a drink. <laughs> so we're gonna figure it out, bro. Uh, could I, it's six total, yeah? Yeah. Can I get two Modellos, two Coronas, two Pacificos? Hello, Pine Park peeps. It's your boy Goblin, and my morning got started with a bang. Literally. I had a bit of a whoopsie daisy with Mr. Tim back here. He's not looking too good. But let me tell you guys a little bit of a story about our friend Jamie here. Jamie's a hardworking mechanic, toiling away at a shop that has less than stellar reviews on Google. But Jamie's a stand-up guy, and he's always working hard, even after his unfortunate accident with a screwdriver. Tim, do you know that you could file a claim with Morgan & Morgan in just eight steps? And that's where Morgan & Morgan come in. Not one, not three Morgans, but two Morgans. Morgan & Morgan is the biggest injury law firm in the United States. And they're ready to help Jamie out and help his behind. And get this, Morgan & Morgan charges no legal fees unless they win your case. So Jamie won't have to spend a dime on getting protection in court. Jamie was hesitant. Not wanting to sue is not so great, boss. But folks, it's not about suing your boss because the money comes from his insurance. Mm-hmm, that's damn right. So if you're like Bob or Jamie or even me and you had a little mishap today and you need to get some help, contact Morgan & Morgan by visiting the link in the description today. Remember, Morgan & Morgan will protect you for free unless they win your case. Nah, it needs to be glass. Really? Yeah. You want to find out? I have to chug it right. Oh, it's going to shoot down your throat. You, you know. What? You've done that before. <laughs> Cheers, man. Cheers, boys. Shout out to the munch. Go. Don't do drugs? Bullshit. Whoa. All right, so I'm very suspect on this place. I don't know about you guys. Same, but same, same. So like, uh, ghost Better kitchens usually have like a bad reputation, right? Yeah, and got more kind of whispering back there like, oh God. But I feel like they got the bad reputation because, you know, maybe they're not run the right way. But there's gotta be one run the right way, right? Yeah, they tried to hit us with the, they there's all have 30 different kitchen. kitchens. I don't believe that. I honestly don't believe that. You know, hey, wait, let whoa. me take a look. But we can find out because we know someone that works with Prince Street Pizza. My thing with pizza is the oven is such an important part of it. Yeah, do they have you like know? a brick oven and back like, there? And like, yeah, right. what are they cooking it up with back there? Bullshit, know? they have a brick oven. Yeah, I don't, I'm not buying that. No way, right? It's so interesting. I will say there is one, uh, there's a Thai place that I ordered from on Uber Eats one time, and it wasn't quite a ghost kitchen, but it was literally like these guys rented out like a closet in the back of some building and just put like, you know, a kitchen in it. And just started right. chefing up, so and they put cooking. a paper sign on the door. Like you can go there and place an order. Like it's not just a ghost kitchen, bro. 
incredible. <laughs> but like so places, bomb. Places like so this, like bomb. the ghost kitchen, they're, they're amazing for DoorDash experience. Yeah. Oh, 100%. Like 100%, like 100%, if, 100%. If you don't ever come here, you you would never know. Right. Because yeah. it's going to come sure. in a bag that's labeled, labeled and branded. And yeah. You yeah. would never know. Yo, no no disrespect to the Chuck E. Cheese hustle because the pizza was good. That I has. have great memories of Chuck E. Cheese. That's I have a crazy say. opinion. Little Caesars is better than Papa John's and mm. Pizza Hut. And it's better than um, no. uh, Chuck E. Cheese, no. and you could argue that's it's better a, that's than a Domino's. Hot, that's a, like a spicy no, level ten man. hot take. No, because Little Caesars, you pay late, you pay five six dollars and it's you get a big five pizza bucks anymore. It's like seven ninety nine. Yeah, still, I'm being got one. It's well, recent. yeah, okay. It's like nine nine. Yeah. It's the same price as Domino's. It was like Subway. Subway for five bucks is lit. Oh, you're right. Like you're Subway's right. for five bucks is lit. Subway for twelve dollars sucks. Then the I allegations the came out. Then, then the it really sucks. Mm-hmm. The oh the the yeah, Jerry. Jerry. Uh, Jerry. Jerry Fogel was fogeling children. <laughs> this chicken, I'm so <laughs> sus about though. <laughs> Let's make a prediction now. What do we think? I will say, Josefa, I know you can hear us. I can't find these goddamn awards at this place one. Oh. <laughs> oh. Let's see. They're not real. This place did not win any awards, Josefa. Are you sure they won any awards? That's what Chad GBT said, huh? I can't huh? find no, nothing, bro. Josefo, there's no info about the awards. Are you sure this is the place? Yeah, where are we, <laughs> He ordered this one plan on DoorDash, and he's like, this place is fire. <laughs> We're going there. I don't know where the door is. You think that I spend money like that? Come fuck. <laughs> you bet you can, son. Hey, look, if you got this from DoorDash, good. Like, yeah, if you got this from DoorDash, you'd be hyped. Yeah, no, if you yeah. got this from DoorDash, you'd have no clue. You'd be like, this came from a restaurant. Right. Screw the chicken. Oh, shit. Oh, we got fluffy that. bread. Oh, shit, take that out of there. Yeah. This is huge. What it's the? just a loaf? Yeah. We got, we got a loaf of bread, bread, bread. I think I've seen this on Instagram sometimes. I mean, you're supposed to go home and slice get it. Get in there. Yeah. Flip it. Yeah, look how soft that shit is. Oh, my. Oh, yeah, get him. Yeah, spread her open. I don't want to. Spread her open, dog. There we go. All right, what's the deal in here? French fries. Lie, the fries. I'm not mad at the fries. Yeah, the fries. The fries I'm gonna break it down. Fries, I'm gonna break it down by by section. Okay. Let's break it down by the fries first. Huh? You got fries. Yeah. Did you go raw fry or you just you dip it right away? I went raw fry first. Good crisp. Not too much potato. Not too oily. I don't it's pretty know. good. It's a good fry. It's pretty good. Oh, wow. It's that's pretty fucking good. good. I can tell it's gonna be a good crunch. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would. Good I little. mean. Oh, we did not. No, no did sir. Not. Thank you for checking. We appreciate that. Is it chicken Tom boys. Fries are honestly bang. The fries are bomb. Fries are good. <laughs> I'm not even gonna front. The fries are bang. They're not just good. They're like really fucking amazing. Okay. You're right. You're right, actually. What's the You're deal right. here? This is my favorite bite. Uh, yes, there is right. some. Oh, there we go. Thank, thank you, my guy. This is my favorite bite of all chicken sandwiches. That it's little. Just chicken. I took my first just bite. A little I'm gonna wait tip. for y'all to try. Okay, okay. Here we go. We're going in. I'm not gonna say a word. I'm not gonna share my opinion. Hmm. Shouldn't let y'all get in there. Crispy piece of chicken for sure. Ooh, mine's spicy. Mm, I don't know, it's nice. You're medium spicy. Oh lord. Tingling in my butt. It's pretty juicy. Not dry at all. This is gonna hurt coming out. Yours got a little fucked up for it's sure. It's pretty good. Look at that. It's pretty bite crispy. Though. Oh, you dipped it. Wow. Oh, you you get, no, I, I don't. I hate dipping my sandwiches, bro. I poured. Mm. That's still crazy poured. though. That's so much moisture, bro. Pour it on the sandwich. Don't like. One thing I will say though. It's good, but the chicken flavor. It ain't all there. The flavor of your chicken? The flavor ain't all there. I like this a lot. Sprite pretty good, you know? Good quality. <laughs> good Sprite. Honestly, the spicy honey is good as fuck too. No, this is good. I like this a mm-hmm. lot. Yeah. I have a big Thanks. score. You got a big score for this place? Oh yeah. Really? Say it ain't so, Timmy. This is I a like big it. tender, bro. This is a huge tender. Look at this. Pretty this good. Is, um, it's better than I was expecting for damn short, we'll say mm-hmm. that. Like for a damn short, right? Can you agree? Literally, I thought it was gonna be like oh, a, wait. a terrible hey now. Food. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be like a little cafeteria hey food type shit. <laughs> and like, I was like, <laughs> I had really low expectations. I don't know why. The pickles they use are trash. Are they? I'm just gonna lay it out. I'm They're a pickle like sweet pickles. They're sweet pickles. Go to hell with that. Go to hell with that. Yeah, I think a 6.5 is fair. You know. hmm. mm-hmm. What are you gonna do? That's low, my friend. I don't think a so. A 6.5 meaning you would not get it again? Like, what's the threshold for getting it again? I would get it again at 3 a.m. Okay. Drunk. You know, it is good, like smacking like late night. Right. You know. I would agree with that, but I'm gonna go a little bit more because I like the fries. The sandwich was good. The chicken does have a lot more to be desired in terms of like the flavor on the mild one, but maybe the medium one's better. I'm gonna have to slide it a 7.2 out of 10 chickens. I think you have to spice it up here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm at an eight. Mmm. Wow. I'm at a solid eight. Mmm. 
fries are carrying, but the chicken sandwich. Fries are carrying. The chicken sandwich I had was banging. Yeah, like, I love. Bang. I'm gonna eat the second one. Like it was delicious. Now what about the like... Japanese bread? Oh, Japanese bread was bomb. It was Actually, good bread. It was delicious. Yeah, it was mm-hmm. good bread. You can get whatever you want here, huh? Ghost Kitchen vibes? Um, so we'll see what's up, man. Next week, I think we might get some more chicken. This guy's suggesting us some um, chicken from where he's around, so we'll mm-hmm. have to see about mm-hmm. that. Some Korean fried chicken. Yeah, I'm excited about that. We'll have to give it oh, a little comparison. I'm going to put y'all on. Mm. Thank you guys for watching this episode of The Munch. We'll see you on the next one. Make sure to stay spicy out there. Drop right? a like, subscribe. See you soon. Give it a